everybody, welcome back to Rice Cake TV. Today we are going to be making something a very special, Cherry Crisp. The first step to make Cherry Crisp is to mix and let stand for 15 minutes one cup of cherry juice from dried cherries and three tablespoons of quick cooking tapioca. Now we're going to melt one stick of butter. Darkness, my old friend. Now that the butter has been melted, we're going to pour it into a larger bowl. Also, as we make this, we should preheat our oven to 350. And then add two cups of brown sugar. Cups of gluten-free flour. Pillsbury is a great brand that I recommend. They offer tr <laughs> I'm just kidding, they don't sponsor me. Hello, darkness, my old Now we're gonna add two cups of gluten-free quick cooking oats. Oh, it's gotta be a full cup. There is oh, not oh, no. We're screwed. Oh, this is gonna taste like crap. And then one teaspoon each of baking powder. Salt and baking soda. Now we have to mix all that together. You can use any spatula you want, but I'm just gonna wash my hands and mix it with my hands because that's easier. Why? Do I stand on the desk? What? Now we're gonna pour two cups of tart cherries drained over the crumbs. Now we're gonna pour the rest of the crumbs over the top of this. Also, after a little bit of that on top, we're going to pour the tapioca cherry juice mixture from earlier over it. And now we're going to put the rest of the crumbs on the top. There we go. Now, we're going to place it in the oven that was preheated at 350. And let it bake in the middle for 30 minutes. Thirty minutes have now passed, and it's time to take out the cherry crisp. Now that the cherry crisp is done, slice it up and enjoy. You can put ice cream on it or anything, it just, it's good. Okay? Bye. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe, uh, hit the like button, share this video with at least 10 friends. 